Previs enables users to import, pre-visualize, edit, and share 3D environments. Integration with Disguise's new cloud solution means cloud, Previs, and designer users alike can innovate, create, collaborate, and share 3D content with ease. From within both Previs and designer, we can export an interactive 3D scene with sequence content from either timeline. Let's start by demonstrating this process with Previs. To create a Previs sequence, first we would open Disguise Drive. You can see here that I already have some files in my drive. I can have multiple folders and drives connected, and I also have the ability to add other members of my team to these drives. In order to create a new Previs sequence, I would click New in the top left corner and select Previs as the asset type. Once selected, this will create a new file and then click Edit to launch the Previs Cloud application. You can import your own models or use one of the demo scenes provided. You will be presented with a range of scenes to select if we select the demo scene option. Once selected, files that are in your drive will be previewed on the left hand side. And we have additional menu options of scene where we can change the models within our project and settings where we can change world settings such as our lighting and cameras, render settings for video output and timeline settings. Files can be dragged and dropped from our media bin onto the timeline. Once a file is on the timeline, you can edit and change how these are mapped to your surfaces using the panel on the right hand side. Once edits are complete, when the user saves and exits, it will auto save the project to your drive. And when clicked to open, this will show as an interactive in-browser 3D preview link, which will include all sequencing created on the timeline. Scenes are also hosted here in your drive. An additional feature with the most recent designer version means that we can create a scene in Previs using our designer timeline. You can obtain a designer license on the main Disguise website by signing up to Disguise Cloud. First, open the D3 Manager application, which is the application manager for designer and which will need to be the R23.2 release version or later for the cloud integration feature. You will see an option on the top right to sign in to Cloud Drive. Sign in with your email address and password, and this will connect both the D3 Manager and Designer applications to your Cloud Drive. Then launch a project to open Designer. Once Designer is open, right click to open the D3 State tab, and then share to Previs export stage to Disguise Cloud. This will open a new widget with two tabs export location and timeline. You can select which drive or organization you'd like to export to, depending on how you are connected through your account. I have already created a sequence on my timeline and to use cloud to export a sequence, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then left click and drag to select an area of the timeline. The timeline export range will default to whole timeline if opened from the D3 state tab or selected portion if opened by right clicking on the selected area of the timeline, and these are interchangeable. Finally, select the option to export your scene to the cloud. This will export the selected range as a video file to a temporary folder and then upload it to your cloud drive. Once complete, select the recently updated folder and you will find three files in your drive a GLB model file, a video in WebM format, and then a share to previs link, which will take you to your designer pre-visualization and enable you to share it with clients and collaborators. <laughs>